guys, welcome back to my channel. So as promised, here is another updo. I know some of you guys did mention you wanted me to film how I create an updo, a soft, glam, messy bun. Well, this is the video, guys. So first off, you want to comb your client's hair. Make sure you put some heat protectant spray or some type of serum before using a hot tool. So each section of our hair should be the same width as the barrel. As you can see, I'm using a 1 inch barrel and I'm just curling as so. And of course, in between your curlers, you can actually get some quick snuggles from your loved ones like Mr. Tofu. <laughs> so if the hair doesn't hold the curl well, maybe because someone's texture may be thinner or more fine hair, you can also take a pin and pin each rollers and let it sit and just complete the whole head. Some of the sections may need to be tightened again since you did work on the curls on the bottom first, which shouldn't be a problem. Just continue curling until you reach the top of the head. And I apologize, some of the clips I am in the video, like right now, I'm still trying to master having my B-roll camera, but it's hard when you're filming by yourself and I don't have time to look back behind me because I'm just so focused into the hair, but that's something I'm gonna learn and perfect. Once the whole head is set with rollers, you can take any type of hairspray and just lightly spray it all over her head. You can wait about 10 minutes or you could just let them down if you feel like the curls are nice and full. I love how her curls turned out. She looks like a vintage movie star. She was like, this is so cute and fun. So afterwards, I'm going to take a little bit of a good smelling serum and I'm just using my fingers to lightly comb through her hair. I'm not going to comb out her hair completely. I'm just going to tossle it around, just using the serums to help with a little a bit of the frizzes at the ends. Now I'm just going to take my comb and section where I would like her hair to be parted. I'm going to take that front section and put it back into a big roll. Then I'm going to take the side sections because I'm going to work on the sides last and just work on the back of the head. Starting at the crown of her head, I'm going to take a teasing comb and I'm just going to tease or back comb just the two sections as you see because I want to create a little bit of a little buffant kind of bump at the crown. Taking that brush again and combing it down so it's nice and clean looking. But I am going to take my fingers and kind of pull the top off, kind of making it fluffy because I don't want it to be completely rounded and really sleek. Just going to fluff it up as you can see, making sure that it has enough height from the side view. Because we're going to create a messy side do, I'm going to take a little bit of the section to the right side of her neck. Starting off with a little ponytail, I'm going to place a hair donut in place. Once that's secured with bobby pins, I'm going to fluff out that tail, back comb that section so it's nice and fluffy, and in no particular order, I'm just going to take little sections, twisting them with my fingers, making sure it's not too messy but not too polished at the same time, and just kind of creating a figure and just covering that hair donut. If needed, I will use my curler to recurl some of the curls that kind of lost its form. And I'm just going to back home each section, fluffing up each section to cover up that hair donut so you don't see any of that piece. Then I'm going to start taking down the side sections because that's where I'm going to comb over. Also back combing and just kind of pinning it into place in no particular order.
you'll start to slowly see a messy side bun and you can also pull little sections out as you see that little tail on her right shoulder. I'm gonna actually curl that and have little pieces so it looks more soft and romantic. Once I get to her side sections, I'm going to back home and spray into place so there's no little frizzies. Once again, no particular order. I'm just twisting each section, making sure it's nice and even. It doesn't look lopsided. And I can always go back with my curler to recurl it if it's losing its shape and just fluffing it out as so. Now moving on to the front roll that I left rolled on top of her head. This is the part where I'm just going to loosely use my fingers and acting as a tool to kind of fluff into place and the direction I want it to be. Again, I don't want it too tightly polished, just creating a little bit of volume. Again, kind of creating like a vintage twist, but not really. Just a really soft, elegant look. Once you're done with the bun, you just want to make sure everything's pinned in place. And again, you can leave those little pieces like you see here because I'm going to recurl them so it looks a little bit more messy. Again, really soft and elegant. This is the messy side updo bun. Again, it doesn't have to look too clean. She just really wanted a soft, messy glow. And here we go. <laughs> and also, you can incorporate any hair pieces if you want, if you feel like it needs a little bit of some texture or some colors. I just have these little shiny rhinestone pieces that I'm just pinning into the bun. Again, in no particular order. And now for the fun part, we're going to take this all down and I'm going to reposition her bun. This is also going to be an updo, but it's going to be placed on the back but bottom of her neck. And I'm also going to incorporate a headband piece for this look. First thing I'm going to do is switch her hair part from the opposite side. I'm going to take that headband piece and make sure I place it about one and a half inches from her hairline and not go too far back because it's not going to balance on her head. I'm going to make sure she holds the top so it doesn't slip and slide. What I'm going to do is tie the bottom and I'm going to pin the sides right behind her ears so it holds in place comfortably. Once again, I'm going to create some volume at the crown of her head. I'm just going to back home two thicker sections than the first look because I'm actually going to incorporate more of her hair, which is basically half of it. And again, using my fingers and just kind of fluff it up, twist it on the middle and make sure it's securely pinned in place.
Once I'm satisfied with the poof, I'm going to take a little bit of texturizing spray and I'm going to spray her whole bottom half because I really want to make sure that all the curls and this updo is going to be nice and fluffy looking without adding a hair bun. <laughs> So I'm basically just taking little sections, twisting them, curling them with my fingers and pinning into place. And I'm taking a whole bunch of it and just kind of rolling it and still making it nice and full looking, a little bit messy, but it's gonna be a little bit cleaner than the first look. As you can see, the hair in the front of her face, right in front of the hairband, is still there. That's going to help me use towards the end after I'm finishing with the back section of the hair, in case if I needed more hair to cover the hairband, which you'll see in just a moment. So again, just taking finger rolls, pinning them in place, fluffing them out, tucking the ribbons in, and just pinning like so. For the side sections, it's best to recurl them and back home so you can have a little bit of fluffiness on the side so it doesn't look so flat against her head because you still want that rounded look to look really even across her whole head. Once you're done pinning everything into place, you want to make sure everything's tucked in, the ribbon is not showing, use a finishing spray to get the little baby flyaways. I'm pulling her hair a little bit forward so it's not so high up on her hairline. Again, making sure that the left and right is nice and even and just tidying up this look. That is it for my bridal updos. I hope you guys enjoy these two looks that I created on my beautiful bride. If you guys do enjoy these looks, please comment down below or any requests you guys would like to see. Again, I'll promise to film them if I can. Stay tuned for my monthly favorites and I also will be posting a new video on this new concealer, guys. You guys don't want to miss it. I am in so in love with complexions, you guys know. Here's another favorite. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.